Jay, thank you so much for coming tonight. And uh, how exciting. You've had some big uh, news in the press and I did share that via social media a few weeks ago. Do you want to tell me a bit about what's hit the press and what you're, what you're doing at the moment in FinTech? Sure. Um, we're working. I'm working with two companies right now. Um, one is Tendermint, and the other is uh, Cosmos. And uh, Tendermint is an open source blockchain engine. We've uh, designed it so that it can be used as um, the base infrastructure, or uh, that provides the security and the consensus for any blockchain. Um, it's open source and free. It's already on GitHub, and we'll have a production version very soon. Um, and Cosmos is uh, our vision for a network of blockchains. So it, it'll work very well with uh, any kind of cryptocurrency, especially future new uh, cryptocurrencies and app coins. Um, and the Cosmos is about uh, having these uh, tenement power blockchains interoperate with each other so that tokens can flow seamlessly between them. And what was your passion that led you into this domain? Um, I think it's a convergence of, of many things, but okay. uh, starting in 2008 uh, with the launch of Bitcoin <laughs> and a financial meltdown, <clears throat> yeah. but also with uh, uh, encryption from uh, Snowden revelations and, yeah. and uh, you know, just my own interest in distributed systems kind of converged into this blockchain world. So uh, um, it's a lot of things. We actually live streamed Edward Snowden um, live from Russia uh, at the... Silicon Valley Human Rights Conference was very exciting. Um, I think a lot the world of him really of what he's done and what he's had to go through because of um, that. And uh, tell me, what's your vision of how do you see the cryptocurrencies? Uh, what's going to happen? Do you think? What's your prediction? I think um, I think initially, um, once we start getting a network effect from blockchains that can actually interoperate with each other by literally communicating virtually directly to each other. We don't have that today. Today, blockchains are kind of isolated and they're kind of like computers were before there was the internet. Um, and so if you wanted to interoperate, you have to copy something to a floppy disk and move it to another computer. But all of this is about to change. And um, <clears throat> so I think that combined with um, more uh, uh, understanding by the general public about the benefits of blockchains and cryptocurrencies and uh, perhaps some uh, some more financial turbulence in the future might cause a perfect storm of uh, community currencies perhaps being picked up. Um, so I don't know if anybody knows the answer as to what's going to happen, but uh, who knows. Well, that sounds like a nice guess. <laughs> and I'll certainly hold the focus and uh, I'm sure that um, the financial institutions as they stand today do need a bit of a change. <laughs> so um, you're obviously going to pro help provide that. Thank you so much and uh, look forward to the panel tonight. Yeah. Likewise. Thank you.